30 days is really short notice to go out and look for a new facility. New tonight, 2 News is taking a closer look at how much notice is required before giving someone the boot from an assisted living facility. Thanks for joining us on 2 News at 6. I'm Brian Schnee. And I'm Heidi Hatch. This all comes in the aftermath of Pacifica Senior Living in Mill Creek announcing that it would be closing, giving residents just 30 days to move on. Jim Spiewak first broke this story last Thursday on 2 News at 10. Daniel Woodruff has been investigating this for us today. He joins us live now. Daniel. Well, Pacifica here says it will give more time to those who need it, but Utah state rules require just a 30 day notice for somebody to be discharged from a facility like this. It's a tight timeline to be sure, but as we found, it's comparable to other nearby states. I think it's very difficult. Utah State Representative Steve Ellison has a loved one in long-term care and says finding the right fit takes time. 30 days is not a time frame that I'd want to have to do that in. But that's what people here at Pacifica Senior Living Mill Creek are facing. The facility is closing and will turn into 55 and older apartments. Residents were given 30 days to find a new home. Ellison spoke to us late last week after this news broke. I think we need to take a very close look at that and that it may need to change. The 30-day notice is in accordance with Utah state rule, and it's similar in other states. Two News found the same requirements in Colorado, Wyoming, Arizona, and Idaho. Nevada's online rules require written notice, but they don't specify when that should be given. Pacifica Senior Living told us, we issued the state required notice, knowing that if any resident would need additional time to relocate, we would accommodate without hesitation. They also say they're working to help residents find new facilities. Still, Ellison plans to take a deeper dive into this issue to see if more needs to be done. There's a lot of due diligence that goes into finding a facility that's appropriate for a loved one. Now, Pacifica has told us that their decision to close here really came down to business, that it was never able to recover to its pre-COVID-19 pandemic levels. However, we at 2 News have also been able to confirm several other assisted living facilities in the state have also closed their doors recently for various reasons. Live in Mill Creek, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.